Guys, do you know what my weakness is? It's the same that makes Doraemon weak as well. Yummy buns, dorayaki or dora cakes, whatever you call them, they have the same effect on me. They make me go absolutely weak in the knees. So let's see how to make dora cakes today. Originally in Japan, dorayaki or dora cakes are made with a red bean paste filling. But someone had the genius idea of putting a chocolate filling in it. And that's when dora cakes became very famous. So let's start with our pancake mixture. Oh, dora cakes are actually pancakes, so you don't need an oven to make them. So I'm starting with my batter with maida or all-purpose flour, icing sugar and baking powder to make it nice and fluffy. These are all my dry ingredients. I'm just going to mix them together with a whisk. And now it's time to add our wet ingredients. I'm using milk today, but you can also use water if you like. I'm adding three tablespoons of condensed milk. This is going to add a nice color and give you a good consistency. I'm also adding honey to give a nice color to the batter. This is very little, one teaspoon of honey. To flavor this, I'm adding vanilla extract and the last ingredient is melted butter. Time to make a batter. Just using your whisk, bring this all together, making sure there are no lumps in the batter. So I'm going to cook my dora cakes on a non-stick pan. The batter is actually quite sweet and the condensed milk will make it nice and thick. So one thing that can go wrong is that you can overmix the batter because of which your dora cakes will turn out hard when you're eating them. So make sure you don't do that. Now it's time to cook the dora cakes. I'm using a measuring cup to measure my batter and place it into the pan. This is a 1 4th cup measure. So when I do this, I know my pancakes are going to turn out of the same size every single time. When your pan is on low heat, you can easily change the structure of your pancake. So you can make it round if it doesn't fall in a round shape. Once you place the batter on your pan, you'll see some small bubbles rising to the surface. These bubbles are going to increase as the pancake cooks. It's going to get a nice crust at the bottom and the surface is going to start drying. That's when you have to flip it. After flipping, you should have a nice and even brown color. When you're making regular pancakes, after flipping your pancake, you don't really play with it. But for dora cakes, you want the sides to be a little thinner than the center. So just use your spatula and press it from the side so that the center is nice and thick and the sides are nice and flat. Once the second side is cooked, take it out of the pan and place it on a plate. In the same way, I'm going to make the other two. When you cook your dora cakes on the first side, they're going to have a nice even browning. But when you flip them over, they're going to have a little bit of spots like your regular pancakes. So you have to keep that side in the center of your sandwich. So make sure you match the sizes up. They're not going to be so difficult to match. This recipe will give you around three dora cakes. So just match up each one of them. And now we're going to fill it up with some Nutella. I'm going to add a thick layer of Nutella in the center. Make sure you don't add too much because otherwise it will leak out from the sides because Nutella is very fluid. Just spread it out with your spoon and close it with the other half. Press the corners so that the Nutella reaches the edges of your Dora cakes as well. Make sure you press the corners of your Dora cake so that the Nutella spreads evenly. I'm going to fill the other two as well. That's the last one. Your Dora cakes are now ready. 